Hello everyone, my name is Anatoly and today we are reacting to another episode of South Park. It's the second episode of the first season. It's called Weight Gain 4000. Let's see how this goes. Hey Stan, did you see that rainbow this morning? Yeah, it was huge. Uh, I hate those things. Nobody hates rainbows. Yeah, what's there to hate about rainbows? Well, you know, you'll just be sitting there minding your own business and they'll come marching in and crawl up your leg and start biting the inside of your ass and you'll be all like, Hey, get out of my ass, you stupid rainbows! Cartman, you sure that's a rainbow? <laughs> Sounds a bit more to me like a uh, Mexican girlfriend. Cartman, what the hell are you talking about? I'm talking about rainbows. I hate those friggin' things. Rainbows are those little arches of color that show up during a rainstorm. Oh, rainbows. Oh, yeah, I like those. Those are cool. What were you talking about? Huh? Oh, nothing. Forget it. No, what marches in, crawls up your leg, nothing. and bites the inside of your ass. Nothing. Children, children, remember the Save Our Fragile Planet essay contest that you children worked so hard on last- Sh Shut the hell up for a second, Garrison. What sounds like rainbow crawls up your ass and bites you? <laughs> I have so many questions right now. One of our very own South Park students has won the national prize. Wow, I knew I would win. Gosh, Mr. Garrison, this sure is exciting. That's right, Mr. Hat. The winner of the National Save Our Fragile Planet contest is... Eric Cartman. What? <laughs> Congratulations, Eric, on writing the award-winning paper. Kick ass. That's impossible. Cartman doesn't know a rainforest from a Pop-Tart. Yeah, I do. Pop-Tarts are frosted. Out of over a million papers, Eric's was chosen as the grand prize winner. Wow. What did you write about, Cartman? I would have suspected some ChatGPT in this, but... The episode is from 1997. I was minus three years old. Uh, you know, this and that. He doesn't even know what he wrote about. What was your paper about, Wendy? My paper was on the suffering of bottlenose dolphins. Hey, uh see? -huh. You shouldn't have written a paper about dolphins. Dolphins are stupid. Dude, dolphins are like <laughs> the second smartest animal on the planet. <laughs> ah, right. If they're so damn smart, how come they get caught in those fishing nets all the time? What? Wait, wait, there's more. It says here that Eric's trophy will be presented to him by Kathy Lee Gifford? Kathy Lee is coming to South Park? Kathy and the Lee presentation Gifford? will be on national television. Television? Kathy Lee Gifford. I don't believe it. I gotta mention that this looks already like a huge leap in terms of animation when compared to the first episode. The first one felt a little bit raw. Oh my god, this is our chance to make a name for ourselves, to show that we're not just some pissant white bread mountain town. Better yet, it's a chance for you to get some publicity. Yes, if I can show just how much I've turned South Park around, I could become a senator. Maybe even a state senator. Mayor, we should decorate the town square. Then we should have the chef of the school cafeteria sing a song and play up the ethnic diversity of our town. That's right. He's a black guy, isn't he? Black as the <laughs> night itself, Mayor. Yes. And we can even have the children of South Park put on a little play. I initially thought that we would get an explanation of how this lady is elected as a mayor in the first season of South Park. But unfortunately, we are left on hold by the South Park creators. You guys, guess what? After I'm on television, I'm gonna be totally famous. Hitler was famous too. Hello there, children. What are you hey, hey, bitch. How are my little crackers today? Good. Did y'all hear about the news? Kathy Lee Gifford is coming to South Park. Yeah, because Cartman cheated and won the environmental essay contest. I... Yeah, yeah, or whatever. But the mayor just called and asked me to sing at the ceremony. Wow, are you going to do it? Of course. Kathy Lee is a beautiful, sultry queen of sexual fantasy. And if I sing to her, maybe I can lure her into a night of exotic delectation. Yeah, that'd be cool. Sometimes you think to yourself, Chef is the nicest and wisest person of South Park. But then, you get reminded that he likes to sing horny songs 24-7. <laughs> well, three times bigger than Frank Giffers anyway. <laughs> oh, I can't even concentrate on grading papers with all this excitement. <laughs> Why are you looking at me like that, Mr. Hay? Getting up to the Have point. Have you forgotten about all Great. the pain and suffering that Kathy Lee Gifford caused you? M Mr. Hayat, that, that was a long time ago, and... And I was only a child. We could have won that talent show. We could have been huge. Knock, knock, Mr. Hat. Who's there? Orange. <laughs> Orange who? Orange you glad I didn't say banana. So Mr. Garrison is interested in Nambla because as a kid, he used to look like an adult. Wow, Mr. Hat. Looks like we might win. 
And now, our last talent show finalist, Kathy Lee Epstein. If they can see me now, that little guy of mine, I'm eating fancy chow and drinking fancy wine. I'd like Wendy? to snumble bumps to see for a fact the kind of top job first rate chums I attract. All I can say is, wow, well, we welcome where I am. Tonight I landed pal, right in a pot of jam. I said, oh, holy cow, they never believe it if my friends could see me now. But you know how they say, if Epstein was mentioned, Bill Gates must be nearby. It wasn't fair. Poor she Garrison. had choreography. How could we compete with that? But now she's coming to South Park, and I know a way to make it all better. How? <gasps> no, Mr. Hat. Wait, 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 wait. I know that chupe means to suck, and los huevos means balls. My fellow Spanish-speaking viewers, please help me decipher this enigma. <laughs> I couldn't. Kill Kathy Lee Gifford. <laughs> I'm going to have you luscious little youngsters do a play about the history of South Park. That'll be wonderful, won't it, Mr. Hat? Kill her! Mr. Hat! Mr. Garrison, I'm asking you to direct our little play. Oh, that's perfect. You see, Mr. Hat, we don't have to kill her. We can just upstage her. Mrs. Mayor, you might want to review the essays. We think Carmen might have cheated. Who cares? Now, kids, <laughs> what say we give it our South Park best? Imagine what a melting pot Wendy's ass is right now. I think we all have examples of uh, such annoying little ladies that were always like, Um, actually, I know that Cartman cheated, but who cares? And who's our little prize winner again? Me! Hey, Cartman! How about we get in shape, huh? We want to look our best for the TV cameras, don't we? Yes, ma'am. I'm gonna be on TV. That's, that's gonna be the fastest Eric Cartman has ever been persuaded to lose some weight. We don't believe for a minute that you won that contest fairly, fat boy. Ah, stop defending your little girlfriend for writing about some stupid fish. Dude, dolphins are intelligent and friendly. Intelligent and friendly on rye bread with some mayonnaise. Dolphins are way smarter than you. If they're so smart, why do they live in igloos? Dolphins don't live in <laughs> igloos. That's Eskimos. Dolphins, Eskimos, who cares? It's all a bunch of tree-hugging hippie crap. Tell me what you wrote about. I can't. I have to go home and get in shape. Yeah, right. You'll go and sit in front of the TV and eat cheesy poofs, ass master. I have a feeling that in this season, Cartman is a little bit more naive, more goofy. Because in later seasons, we know that Cartman is well-educated and he knows his facts, especially about gingers. We'll be right back to Jesus and Pals after this. Hey, do you need to get in shape fast? Want to look your best? Tired of the other guys getting all the chicks? Are you tired of being a 90-pound weakling? Yeah, I only weigh 90 pounds. Then bulk up quick with weight gain for the... Yeah. With over 4,000 grams of saturated fat per serving, its patented formula is designed to enter the mouth and go directly to the stomach where it is distributed to the bloodstream. Now available at stores everywhere. Get some today and say it with me. Beefcake! 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 May cause irreversible damage to the kidneys and liver. 4,000 grams of saturated fucking fat. Basically, an American dinner. Mom, can you get me some weight gain 4,000? Okay, Eric. I'll get you some at the store tomorrow. But, Mom, I need it for tomorrow. But tomorrow <laughs> is so grocery too day, easy. Eric. Mom, <laughs> Okay, okay. Well, I guess I'll be going to the store now, then. Uh, Mom, get me some anabolic steroids, please. Kill. That does it. You're going in the dresser drawer, Mr. Hat. She'll make a fool of you again. <laughs> well, you can just stay in that drawer, Negative Nancy. Hey, dudes. What the hell is wrong with you, Cartman? Haven't you noticed the three feet of snow on the ground? Dang, dang. I have a nice body, and I want to show it off. You got that? What? You've got to weigh 90 pounds. I'm up to 94, thank you very much. <laughs> yeah, they're almost as big as his mom's. <laughs> <laughs> That's all you want. I'm the one who's gonna be on TV looking all buff. What's that stuff? Weight gain 4,000 is helping me bulk up. Honestly, I'm a bit more of a fan of uh, raw testicles. I'm not talking about food supplements. Bulk up to what? Fat ass? Super fat ass? Hey, I don't have to take that kind of crap from you spawny weakling. <laughs> Sweet. Check me out. Such a beefcake, I can't even get through the door. 
Come on, people! We've got to turn this place around! Hang up the lights! Gaze Screw up gaze. the banners! Ladies Castrate the cows! Well, Mr. Garrison, how Castrate is the little... The cows? Ca castrate the cows! Dear aliens, please come and take away the cows. Those beautiful creatures from this abomination of a planet. We were just about to run it from the top. Oh, please do! I'm dying to see it! Okay, all the little pioneers on this side of the stage. Good. And all the little Indians <laughs> little go mutters. to the center of the stage. Am I an Indian or a pioneer? Do you have a feather on your head? Yes. Then you're an Indian. Oh. Okay, baby, <laughs> this is your line. This is the story of South Park. <laughs> no, this cracked me. <laughs> Do you have a feather on your head? Yes. Then you're an Indian. <laughs> it begins over a hundred years ago when the noble and hardy Oot Indians lived on the land. Oh, don't they look adorable. Then, from the east, came the great white pioneers. <laughs> oh my god! They did it a lot better this morning. They had more energy. The pioneers met with the Indians. And negotiated for their fertile... I, I was about to say, I was about to say that there's not enough blood. But once again, I'm proven wrong. <laughs> Mr. Garrison, we cannot have our children beating each other senseless in front of Kathy Lee Gifford. Well, what do you want? This is how it happened in those days. Take that, you stupid Indian. Ah! Mr. Garrison, this is not appropriate. Do you actually think that Kathy Lee Gifford would enjoy this? To hell with Kathy Lee Gifford. Oh my god, what have I said? He said to hell with Kathy Lee Gifford! Mr. Garrison, I am dismissing you from directing our play. I like how they care about violence only in this context of someone else watching it from the outside. <laughs> Is Kathy Lee Gifford really such a sacred person in the US? I have a feeling that they're gonna start to lick her feet any minute. Now that I've mentioned it. <laughs> it happened again, didn't it? Now we do things my way. I can't kill her, Mr. Hat. You're gonna have to do it. <laughs> <laughs> the satanic laugh. Sometimes you think to yourself that Mr. Hat has a life of his own. <laughs> a very eventful life with blackjack and hookers. Male hookers. Talk about wide load. Yeah, I'm really starting to fill out nicely. You're not filling out nicely. You're fatter than ever. Why would you replace Cartman with Amy Schumer? Cartman, you're such a fat ass that when you walk down the street, people go, God damn it, that's a big fat ass! No, they don't, you jealous wiggling! God damn, that's a big fat ass! Hey! <laughs> Hi, damn, guys. Kylie's oh, aggressive. Look, another hippie. Peace, Wendy. Shut up, Cartman. Oh, two little hippies sitting in a tree. I'm going to find Cartman's paper and get to the bottom of this. I have to point out how excessively aggressive Kyle is in this uh, season. Jesus Christ. Tell me who fucked up the circumcision. Can I help you? Yes. I need a gun. Would this be for hunting, home protection, or other? Other. Alrighty then, may I suggest a strat for 12 millimeter? Yeah, try it on. That looks <laughs> really nice on you. The lacquered black really matches your eyes. You talking to me? <laughs> you talking to me? I don't know, it's a little small. Okay, how about this? You talking to me? Mm, no, I don't like this one either. Here's the same gun with a wood finish. You talking to me? <laughs> I don't see anybody else around here, so you must be talking to me. I'll take it. A typical mock of how Americans tend to romanticize their gun culture. Hello? If dolphins are so smart, why do they live in igloos? <laughs> really, please explain to me, ladies and gentlemen. I don't get it. Let's be frank, that's a reasonable objection. Well, Mr. Hat, I guess old Kathy Lee really will be surprised when she gets here tomorrow. She beat us in the talent show all those years ago. And I think we owe her for that. Ba bang <laughs> Howdy, Mr. Garrison. Nice gun. Thank you. <laughs> nice gun, Mr. Garrison. Thanks. Uh, hello, Officer Bar Brady. Nice gun. Thanks. Is there somewhere in town where I can get a good, clear shot or a view of Kathy Lee? Hmm. 
You know, I think the book depository would be a good bet. I think at this point, if Mr. Garrison would go to prison, this would only make his life a little bit more colorful with a little bit more action. Thank you, Officer Bar Brady. No problem. Ha! Cut your red handed! No pictures of Kathy Lee! Of course. Where is course. she? This is sweet. Camera crews are setting up. I have a huge ass question right now. How the hell does Cartman revert back from this state? What kind of a divine liposuction would save this boy? You guys, we have to stop him! Stop who? Mr. Garrison! He's going to try to kill Kathy Lee Gifford! Oh, no, no, you this don't. is ridiculous! You're not gonna ruin my moment of fame! He's got a gun! You gotta get over this whole jealousy thing. Alright, seriously. Just face it. I wrote a better paper than you. It just so happens that I have your paper and I know why you won! There's something more important right now! Let's go! Wendy, you've got to prioritize. What's more important, being on TV or some stupid assassination? Stan, I can't do it alone. At least let's recognize that Wendy has the priorities right in this case. She is still a resentful lady, but that's a good decision. Uh, we're losing him. Here she comes! <laughs> Why did she see you? <laughs> Damn, I guess I'm not the only person in America who's thought of killing Kathy Lee Gifford. We love you, Kathy Lee! <laughs> we love you, too. Come on, you little Sound. bitch. It is with great pride and honor that I'd like to welcome Mrs. Kathy Lee Gifford to South Park. And now, our very own South Park elementary chef will sing a special song in honor of Mrs. Lee Gifford. Let me quickly get into my chef song mood. Whew. Let's go. Thank, Thank you, you, Mr. Mayor. Mayor. You know, Kathy Lee, you, you are, are a very special, special woman. woman. I, don't I don't mean special, special in a Mary Tyler Moore way. I mean special, like, like the song of a, the hummingbird as it gets, gets ready to baseline. find that female the hummingbird baseline. and make sweet love to it all night long. Just two hummingbirds moaning and, and groaning and letting their bodies caress and touch each other in ecstasy. Oh, Kathy Lee, how I'd love to lay you down and lick every inch of your body with my tongue. What? Kathy Lee, you're my sexual fantasy. What? I cannot help but picture Isaac Hayes dying of laughter while recording this in the studio booth. Thank you, chef. Oh, oh. God bless you, Kathy Lee! Officer Barbrady, Mr. Garrison is about to kill Kathy Lee! We have to find him! What? You mean the teacher? Wait a minute! Is there somewhere in town where I can get a good, clear shot or view of Kathy Lee? Hmm... You know, I think the book depository would be a good bet! I think the book depository would be a good bet! Book depository! Depository! Book depository! Book depository. Book depository. Damn! He could be anywhere! I'll send out an APB! <laughs> Wendy, look! Now a serious question. Is Officer Bar Brady related somehow to Joe Biden? And now, here to present the award for the environmental essay to our own Eric Kaufman. Cartman, goddammit! Is your favorite celebrity and mine, Kathy Lee Gifford! <laughs> Thank you. How I love you all. Mr. Garrison, stop! Leave us. We must finish what we have begun. I know that she's hurt you. She's hurt a lot of people. You can't know. You should have won that talent show. It is with a great honor and pride that I present the winner this trophy. Eric, would you please come up here? Here it is. <laughs> I think right now, being a slave that built the pyramids feels a little bit more like a summer job. My big moment of fame. And then she finished it all by throwing her voice with two dummies at once. I know that, Mr. Garrison, but this isn't the answer. It is. You can't win all the time. And if you don't win, you certainly can't hold it against the person who did, because that's the only way you ever really lose. You, you're right. Good. Man, well, did she really throw sense. her voice with two dummies at once? The bitch must die! <laughs> <laughs> So let me get this straight. First, Garrison kills Kenny. Then, he tries to fuck 
Cartman. And subsequently, he becomes the kindergarten teacher. Oh my god! They killed Kitty! You bastard! Cut! Cut! <laughs> you had to do the both lines. Come back! We didn't even get to do our play! I guess that's it, guys. Wrap it up. Hey! Wait a minute! When do I get to be on television? Forget it, kid. No Kathy Lee, no public interest. But I win in Fair the Minnesota contest. You don't deserve to win, Cartman, and you know it. I'm holding Cartman's award-winning paper. It's actually nothing more than Walden with Henry David Thoreau's name crossed out. What about being able to accept a loss? Well, she's certainly not in the same manipulation league as Cartman, but... God damn it. <laughs> and Cartman's name written in its place. Who cares? Yeah, Kathy Lee Gifford's gone. What about not holding anything against the person who wins? Well, not if it's Cartman. <laughs> hey, where are you okay, all going? Okay, makes sense. They don't even know what Walden is. I bet if Walden was a sitcom, you'd all know what it was. Come on, Wendy. Kyle's mom will make us tuna fish sandwiches. Ah, uh, what the hell? No, no. Now I'll be stuck in this podunk town forever with all these stupid, hick, redneck, jobless, drunk-driving idiots. Uh, Mayor, the mic is on. Who cares? <laughs> I think the people of South Park would take this as a fucking compliment. Thought you could get away with it, eh, Mr. Hat? Well, I would have gotten away with it if it weren't for those meddling kids. You're lucky you missed Kathy Lee Gifford and that nobody got hurt. We hope you can come back to school real soon, Mr. Garrison. Well, children, I'd love to, but the doctors say that Mr. Hat needs more therapy. We can still get her. <laughs> I'm just so sorry that I ruined everyone's chances for being on TV. When the hell did the kids start caring that much about Mr. Garrison? Not Cartman. He gets to be on TV anyway. Really? On what? Obesity. <laughs> Adiposity. <laughs> corpulence. Heraldo. Whatever word you use, it represents one thing. Being a big fat ass. We have with us today, live via satellite, Eric Cartman from South Park, who is now so obese, he can't even get out of his house. What the hell is this creature? There was this boy from the Paleolithic age, and I asked him, what the hell do you want, monster? And he told me, I need about tree feedy. Is there anything you'd like to say to people out there? Follow your dreams. You can reach your goals. I'm living proof. Beefcake! Beefcake! He needs to run his ass around a bunker. <laughs> mm, how about a little more of that good loving, chef? Damn, woman. I just gave you sweet loving five obvious. minutes ago. You trying to kill me? It wasn't it obvious. Please know that Kathy Lee Gifford is not wearing any protection. <laughs> this felt a little bit like South Park trying to build up their momentum. But I gotta be honest with you. I thought initially that the first season is gonna answer some questions for me. Hell no. <laughs> this left me so perplexed and so confused. I am fuming right now. <laughs> what do you guys think if during the week we watch South Park in order and then during the weekend I pick some top recommended uh, episodes from you? Would this be a good schedule for you? But well, that was it for today. Like, subscribe, comment, all the usual stuff. And I'll see you next time. Kelly, you successfully hit metal 17 times, so you are now proud owner of this photograph of motorcar. I am happy. But property is theft, so you are now under arrest. Well, no.